بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين This is Aqib coming to you with another short uh, reminder that we can try and benefit from today The reminder that I want to remind us is regarding the verse from Surah Yusuf where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the story of Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam The story of Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam is quite long but there's one part of the story that I want to focus on. We know when Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, his brothers, they plotted against him and they threw him in that well. Now when he was in the well, he was picked up by uh, some merchants that wanted to sell him as a servant, a slave, and then he was eventually bought. Now when he was bought into the house of a, of a wealthy minister, um, we know that he grew up in that household. Now, one of the qualities Yusuf والسلام, had was of immense beauty, was of uh, extreme handsomeness, right? He was someone that was considered the most handsome uh, person. Now, when he grew up, the wife of the minister, she sought to seduce Yusuf والسلام, And this is mentioned to us in Surah Yusuf itself. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned something very interesting. When she sought to seduce him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ هَمَّتْ بِهِ وَهَمَّ بِهَا That she desired him, but at the same time, she mentioned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam also had desire for her as well. However, even though he had desire, this is what makes the story very powerful. That it's not like he had no desire towards her. In fact, he did have desire, right? Hamma biha. But however, because of his his belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because of his consciousness, the taqwa he had of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is what prevented him from following in with that wrong uh, deed. And this is a lesson that we uh, take from all of the Anbiya and the companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down human beings down to us, right? Where we can draw lessons from them. Because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down angels with the message to us, we would not be able to follow them in their way. They will not be uh, our role model. This is so difficult to follow angels. Angels are, are, if not difficult, it's impossible to follow angels, right? Because they are perfect, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, constantly worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, obeying all of His commands, subhanahu wa ta'ala, without uh, faltering. But human beings they have human qualities, human elements, and it allows us to follow in them. So we see in the prophets and we see in the companions, the best of human beings, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'i, that they had human qualities, human elements, right? And in this story of Yusuf والسلام, we see that he had the human element, the natural desire. But however, he stopped himself at that point, right? So this reminds us that we might have uh, feelings of, of doing something wrong. You might have a desire of doing something wrong. But when you hold yourself back because you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is where a person's taqwa is shown. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا إِذَا مَسَّهُمْ طَائِفٌ مِّنَ الشَّيْطَانِ تَذَكَّرُوا When uh, the people of taqwa, when they feel the whisper of shaitan, at that moment, they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to remember Him and control ourselves at all times. Jazakumullahu khairan.